Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about Oven Break's recent update, and why this one is, no joke, the worst one they've released so far. I decided to take my time with this one, to properly inform myself on the subject, instead of just quickly jumping in and rant about it like I usually do. Because this isn't something that I can just scream about and done. No. This update brought up a much more serious issue that deserves a proper video. Alright, so by now, we all know that Oven Break released a new update for Yogaka, introducing the new centipede cookie, and ever since it came out, it's been met with a lot of backlash. And why is that, you may be asking? Did they ruin another game mechanic? No. The problem lies with the themes of the update itself, and how it's all based on orientalist views and stereotypes of Swana. Which, in case you didn't know, it's short for Southwest Asia and North Africa. Now, before we get to the meat and greedy and point out all the bad things in this update, I'll need to provide more context, starting with the definition of Orientalism, because I'm pretty sure this word is new for all of you. According to Google, Orientalism are styles, artifacts, and traits considered to be characteristics of the peoples and cultures of Asia. It is the representation of Asia, especially Middle East, in a stereotyped way that is regarded as embodying a colonist attitude. In other words, it is a fake stereotypical depiction of a culture that does not represent the actual culture at all, aka Yogurka. Jokaka and everything in it is just a horrible depiction of what Swana actually is. And it got worse when Lala Cookie came out. Obviously, this came with a huge lot of backlash too. But we all held some small hope that DevSys, you know, would listen to our concerns and do better next time. But this update just shows that they straight up don't care. Now, allow me to point out all the stereotypes found in this update alone. Number one, Centipede Cookie and Scorpion Cookie. They basically depict the stereotype of a uh, exotic sexy woman. And it doesn't make it better than Centipede Cookie not only wields a whip, but she was animated like this. <laughs> Number two, yogurt and lilac's clothes are just straight up based on fantasy and not at all what Suwana people actually wear. Number three, most of the NPCs found in this update are depictions of the shady brown salesman stereotype that sells you questionable things. And number four is essentially all of Yogurka and it being one large orientalist homogeneous -like mix of completely different cultures. Oh, but we're not done. Oh, no, 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 no. It gets worse. Along with the already deplorable update, they decided to announce the existence of a straight up bomber cookie and release a bomb jelly set. Yeah, I don't think I have to point out what stereotype this represents. Also, in the new map, you can find bombs scattered around it. And remember those shady salesman stereotypes? Yeah, they're there throwing bombs at you too. Oh, by the way, it gets worse. And you want to know how? Well, the Oven Break devs just had the audacity to release this terrible update in the holy Muslim month of Ramadan. Yeah, what were they thinking? Thinking! After getting called out by the whole fandom for this, as they rightfully deserve, DevSys made some damage control. They changed a few things. You wanna know what those things were? I'm gonna let you guess. All they literally did was remove the strap bomb from the rainbow jelly, change the jelly scent name from bomb to blast, which doesn't make it any better by the way, it's still a bomb, and they straight up just removed the whole jelly set from the video. Don't believe me? Watch this.
So, I guess that's it. Thank you. Yeah, that's literally all they did. And they somehow thought that that was enough to fix things and release the update. How pathetic. It really sucks that they still went on and go and released this update. Like, they could have done so much more to just make things better. Like, example, if I were them, I would I would start by redesigning the cookies of Yorika and giving them much more accurate clothing to, you know, the actual culture they're representing. And, or, instead of that, I would have canceled the whole update completely and just re-release some old update. Like, example, maybe release that old uh, sea fairy update with her city and that stuff. That way people can, like, experience the story and such. Or, you know, the third option is just completely, like, reboot Yogurka or just delete it overall because, uh, y y yeah, man, uh, Yogurka is just full of red flags. But no, no, they went on and decided to dig their own grave. But, fret not, there's still hope, there's still something we can do to make them listen to us and the people of Swana, and that is by destroying their wallet. It's still not too late to boycott, you know? And by this, I mean we shouldn't play any of the games throughout this whole update. But if you can't do that, then do not buy anything, nor watch any ads from them. We need to make it clear that we do not accept disgusting representation like this. And frankly, the people of Swana deserve so much better. Their voices deserve to be heard. And so, for this next segment, I will be reading tweets from Swana members about their thoughts on this update. I'm Surayan Iraqi. And I've been pretty peeved that the one time I decided to get more into Cookie Run, they end up doing this. It seems like they absolutely refuse to learn from their past attempts at Orientalism, even bringing Lilac into Kingdom, despite the overwhelming backlash. I'm Swana, Egyptian to be specific. We are people who suffered in the past because of terrorism, and these events are a traumatic thing to live through, even as a toddler. And seeing something like this being interrupted so horribly into a game that I thought was supposed to be amazing hurts honestly. Not just with Peppercorn Cookie, but also how they made Centipede Cookie look like a stripper with the addition of the whip and zooming on her hips swaying in action in that video was a bad move and made me personally uncomfortable and disappointed. This update is overall racist, Islamophobic, and it has such a terrible interpretation about us. Swana here. Kuwait, precisely. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. I'm kind of young on stuff, but what Dev Sisters did for this update is absolutely vile and insensitive. Worst of all, worst of all during the Islamic month of Ramadan, and the use of bombs as part of this update just continues to accept me even more. I'm Muslim, and I'm most disturbed specifically at the choice of jelly sets. That doesn't mean that everything else is less bad, but I have a specific point to bring up. And it's the jelly rainbow variant. Now yes, on its own, it's already a horrific harmful stereotype of Muslims or Swana being terrorists, judging by the placement of the bomb, but even if that wasn't released on Swana inspired event, why in the loving hell would you make a jelly look like a Bomber. Like, you don't even need it to be released on non Swana or Muslim related event. This is a kid centered game, and for it to have that makes me think deep about what was the intention of the designer and how this was greenlit and even showcased under YouTube channel in the first place. And with that, I bid you all adieu. Thank you for watching this video. Moral of the story if you want to depict the culture, do it with respect, do not use stereotypes, and remember, it is always morally correct to bully a company for their abhorrent acts. Goodbye now! Mówię, że